Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to Galaxy Playgrounds. Tonight we're going to try Crystals. It's a gorgeous indie love letter to classic JRPGs with a new perspective. Peer into the past, act in the present, and watch as your choices change the future. All on one screen as you play. I can't wait to try the game, so let's start. Select attack, and then choose your target. Finally, just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. Getting that second hit requires precise timing. Make sure you press the button again right as your attack hits the enemy. Spell. It will strike again. Make sure you press the button right when the attack hits you to block it. Ow! Careful, Chris Bell. It will strike again. Make sure you press the button right when the attack hits you to block it. Nicely done. Now give it your all. Finish it off. Well done. supposed to be hello my name is tell me if we survive you know how to fight let us show him Two less of them. They're chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. <laughs> Look, Volcano! They broke our poor goblins! How adorable! Can we keep them? Gally, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Till I stop murdering them! I know, I know! I just want to play! Not my fault they're all so... squishy! Oh, and that's why we can't have nice things. It didn't work. We can't touch them! They have this big ass shield. So how can I attack the You can't take much more of this. Crisbell, it is time! Use the crystals! The crystals?
Cruise bells! I'd better not keep her waiting. Okay, so we can move now. Strawberry right now? Maybe I won't have to do it ever again. If I pick every I should talk to Mother Superior first. Okay. Let's talk to her. Finally. Did you prune the roses yet? I'm sorry, Mother Superior. It's just my rose. He, the frog, it took it. Enough, enough. I've seen that look before. Find that rose, then hurry back. There's work to do and no time to waste. Go on. Yes, Mother Superior. Thank you, Mother Superior. And be careful. I worry about you. to get my rose back so how how will I do that how can I take it back I miss your grandma Chris and how it used to be around here these just bloomed yesterday if I take extra care of them today, they'll be even prettier tomorrow! Rose back. What a lovely day for a walk in the woods. Crispell, what's the hurry? Good morning, Marco. Have you seen a little yellow frog? A frog? Well, sure. Maybe wearing a top hat? Carrying a rose? Uh, top hat? Then no. Maybe try the mayor's estate? There's always something going on there. I'll try. Thanks, Marco. Sorry to bother you. Are you kidding? That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day. Found. It's a skull. <sighs> that Marco is never home. He'll inherit this one day. He should help me take care of it. about the future it's not just the farms that will be renovated it's the orphanage the shops the whole town your future fouls the land poisons the water goblin raiding parties are burning our fields money power your precious industry that's all you care about now how dare you where's your proof hmm. look around you Look at our crops. Then sell your lands, Robert. Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. It's best for someone, but not the town. You seem to be doing just fine. Now see here, I never... 
Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor. Hello, Crisbell. What do you want? Hello, Miss Lana. I was looking for a yellow frog with a top hat. Of course you were. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go. Hmm? May the lady light your way, Crisbell. Too many in town have strayed from the graves. Oh, thank you. I should go. Oh, there's the frog. told me to go check out the farms. I don't think she was serious about it, but it's still worth a shot. Hi, Polly. How are things? I don't know, Chris. Between the crops, the monsters, the weather... It never ends. I just saw your dad with the mayor. They seemed really angry. Again? I keep telling him to trust the mayor. We need his soldiers to protect us. But it's always, we give the lady our trust. Everyone else has to earn it. <sighs> Sorry, Chris. What's up? I'm looking for a little yellow frog. He was wearing a hat, a top hat. He took my rose. <laughs> a frog in a top hat. Only you, Crisbell. I haven't seen it, but I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, Polly. Maybe I should pray to the lady about it. <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral's as good a place as any to try. <laughs> come on, come on, frog. Give me back that rose. If Mother Superior finds out I've come here alone. Crystals of time, Chris Bell. Ah, what are... I mean, who... How do you know my name? So many questions. Matthias the Frog, at your service. I have been keeping an eye on you for some time now. On me? Why? I suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. Chosen? By whom? What are these crystals? Why me? 
more questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I... I can't... I don't want this! Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. Powers? This is a curse! Why is this even happening? You're upset. Perfectly understandable. But I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? If only, but sadly, no. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately. Okay, what's this? Just a little further. We are almost there. over there in that hut perhaps you should let me do the talking will help answer the door go away i'm busy open the door you pompous child we have important business matthias huh. idiot frog Speaking to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispell. Um, sir? Crispell has opened both crystals of time. Ridiculous. Impossible. Why, not even I've been able to. Yet, it has happened. No. No, no. No. There's something else at work here. Please tell me what's going on. Patience. I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time mage. As am I. And while my powers have led to my youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future. Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. A tree! It's growing from the seed I planted! Exactly! A glow fruit tree to be specific. But take care, it will only grow if you care for it. Otherwise, it will wither and die. So, if I do something in the present, I can affect the future. Obviously. Has that not always been the case? Now, however, you have the ability to see these future possibilities. So choose your actions accordingly. I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes. Go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. Okay, so let's go back.
let this happen? Matthias, what? Um, what happened to her? She looks so um, different. Prisbel, you had me worried. Mother Superior, you're okay. The orphanage is still here. Well, of course. What's got you so excited, child? Did something happen? No, I mean, not yet. I went to get my rose, then Matthias showed me how I could... Matthias? Yes, he... he was just here. I need to find him. At least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for. Yes, Mother Superior. Now go find your friend. And don't take all day. You still have to prune these roses. Mateen. Don't tell me I have to look for that frog again. Matthias? I thought it best not to upset your mother superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Hmm? Crisbell? I'm sorry if I upset you by leaving. No, I mean, yes, but it's the orphanage. I saw its future. Abandoned. Empty. How could that happen? I don't know, but let's look around town. Perhaps your new powers can shed light on this. Around town, there must the Miller's house and the apothecary shop, they've been destroyed. Yes, quite unfortunate. Unfortunate? The Millers are homeless. Without the apothecary, the town has no medicine! Only in the future, and only if you let it happen. If I let it happen? But... no, you're right. Those poor houses, someone has to know how to fix this. Why would someone do this? me I think your shop has rot problems I don't have time to worry about that right now if you want to talk rot talk to the carpenter over to the west yeah yeah good morning I guess can you help me there's a problem with the houses a problem great what did you see girl they're rotting away from the inside. In a few years, there won't be anything left. You saw rot on the inside? From the outside? Neat trick. Sounds like someone's been telling you stories about Ash Blight. Happened back when I was a kid. Would have lost most of the town if the old apothecary hadn't brewed up a batch of green leaf tonic. Can you make some? Do I look like an apothecary? Go ask June. She's the one who knows about this stuff. Charming fellow. Why would someone do this? This will take forever to sort out. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. You and half the town. No. No, I can't. Someone tore the labels off of my mushrooms. bad it's terrible one of these is red button good for digestion great on a salad one of them is ground death cap even the tiniest bit could be deadly an important distinction wouldn't you agree of course with no labels it's impossible to tell them apart can't you just throw them out and make some more 
sure, of course. It would take weeks to find the mushrooms, days to prepare them. I don't have time to redo it all. <sighs> My father used to do all of that. He bottled and labeled them years ago. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Me too. It'd be nice to have help around here. Since Dad died, though... I try to keep everything the way he left it. But there were only so many hours in the day. Sorry. I've got to get back to work. No wonder she's upset. They all look alike. I suppose they do. Let me try something. Uh, I can't see them in the past at all. Allow me. There. Well, this one has a skull on it. I imagine this is the death cap. That sticker! I saw it today! Some kids were playing with one! The sticker we found. It's a skull. You took that from June's. Do you know what you've done? It's only a sticker. You can't just take things from stores. Especially not the apothecary. Some of her ingredients could be dangerous. Sorry, Chris. This is as much proof as we are likely to get. Did you find it? Some kids took it. They just thought it was a cool skull sticker. I don't think they meant any harm. Of course they didn't. What's done is done. I'll talk to their parents about this later. Thank you, Chris Bell. I really appreciate all you've done. This might be a good time to ask her about the tonic. Chris Bell, was there something you needed? Do you know how to make green leaf tonic? Of course. Unfortunately, I don't have any glow fruit in stock. It's very rare and it doesn't keep. Not many uses for it, but it's essential for green leaf tonic. Is there any glow fruit near Nareem? Maybe I can find some. I wouldn't get your hopes up, but ask Magda by the cathedral. She knows the plants in the area. You might get lucky. All right, I will end the preview here. So far, this game reminds me of cartoon shows you watch on TV. The art style is also interesting for RPGs. Looking forward for this game. Definitely worth checking out. So um, if you want to see more gaming previews and gameplay, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button too. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time. Cheers.